Media playback is unsupported on your device. U.S. Democrats have ruled out a witness swap with Republicans in President Donald Trump's impeachment trial. Lawmakers who are seeking to remove the president from office hope to hear testimony from his former national security adviser John Bolton. But Democrats refused any deal to allow the son of former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden to be called as a witness. Mr. Trump is accused of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. He strongly denies any wrongdoing. House Democrats have up to three days to make their cases they present their arguments in the impeachment trial in the Senate. Mr. Trump's defense team will have three days after that for a rebuttal. Democrats accused the president of using U.S. military aid as a bargaining chip in an attempt to prod Ukraine into announcing an investigation to discredit his would-be Democratic White House challenger, Mr. Biden. No crime, no impeachment, is that true? Trump impeachment trial, all you need to know Mr. Trump has been touting corruption claims against Mr. Biden, whose son Hunter held a lucrative board position with a Ukrainian gas firm while his father was U.S. vice president and in charge of American-Ukrainian relations. Attending the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, on Wednesday, Mr. Trump jokingly warned he might confront Democrats by coming to sit right in the front row and stare at their corrupt faces. The impeachment trial could end next week, but Mr. Trump's fellow Republicans control the chamber and are unlikely to oust him. Media playback is unsupported on your device goading by Trump. There's one thing in particular that President Trump said which was kind of like a red rag to a bull. It's when he said basically, well things are going very well, we have all the information, and they, Democrats, have none of it, well, if you want a fair trial, then maybe that information should be made available. We keep using the word, trial, and the words, jurors and, witnesses and, evidence, but we must not lose sight that this is a political process. We saw that clearly last night when the first votes started coming in. In a vote that split completely along party lines, 53 Republicans said, no we should not be able to subpoena the White House for documents, while 47 Democrats said, yes we should, so we have Donald Trump kind of voting and saying, look I've got the information. We know what happened, but we're not going to tell you, I think this might inflame public opinion. Polls are already indicating that a clear majority believe that evidence should be handed over and witnesses should be called. What is the witness swap proposal? Democrats want to call Mr. Bolton, who referred to the White House's alleged political pressure on Ukraine as a drug deal, according to previous witness testimony in the House of Representatives. But the former National Security Advisor has said he will not consider testifying unless served with a legal summons known as a subpoena. Mr. Trump's Republican allies have argued Hunter Biden should also be ordered to appear before the impeachment trial. But Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the top Democrat in the Senate, told reporters during a break in the trial on Wednesday, that trade is not on the table, media playback is unsupported on your device Joe Biden said. On Wednesday in Osage, Iowa, where he is campaigning for the White House that he would not offer himself up in any witness trade, we're not going to turn it into a farce or political theater, Mr. Biden said. I want no part of that, defending his son, Mr. Biden added, there's nobody that's indicated there's a single solitary thing he did that was inappropriate or wrong, other than the appearance. It looked bad that he was there, Mr. Biden said last year that if elected president, no one in his family would hold a job or have a business relationship with a foreign corporation. The Trump impeachment story explained Trump impeachment, your questions answered media playback is unsupported on your device what happened in the trial. On Wednesday, the lead Democratic prosecutor, California Congressman Adam Schiff, criticized President Trump's dealings with Ukraine is worse than crazy, it's repulsive, it's repugnant. It breaks our word. And to do it in the name of these corrupt investigations is also contrary to everything we espouse around the world, he said.
Mr. Schiff, who is chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, urged Republicans to vote to remove Mr. Trump from office to protect our democracy. He warned that senators would also undermine our global standing if they do not oust the president. Media playback is unsupported on your device The first day of the trial dragged until the early hours of Wednesday morning as the senators debated a flurry of incremental motions. Much of the evidence being laid out is a rehash of testimony already presented exhaustively in the House of Representatives, which voted to impeach Mr. Trump last month. Under arcane rules, senators are forbidden to drink coffee on the chamber floor and are only allowed water and milk. A number of senators, mostly Republicans, were seen to be absent from the chamber during Mr. Schiff's presentation. Also, several members were spotted dozing during the proceedings. What questions do you have about Donald Trump's impeachment trial? In some cases your question will be published, displaying your name, age and location as you provide it, unless you state otherwise. Your contact details will never be published. Please ensure you have read our terms. Use this form to ask your question. If you are reading this page and can't see the form you will need to visit the mobile version of the BBC website to submit your question or send them via email to your questions at bbc.co.uk. Please include your name, age and location with any question you send in. Let's block ads. Why?